is trying to hurry him up. He wants to get up there, get set, and they're going to run it again. James. Short of the end zone. 35 seconds on the clock. The Colts still have a timeout. Manning wants to run another play before he uses it. Touchdown signal. Manning wants a timeout. 18 seconds to play. It will be third and goal when we resume. Watch Big Ted Washington, number 92. You just can't move him. And that is one of the reasons why. And everybody, Teddy Bruschi, they play run all the way. And the Colts come up, it looks like about one foot short of the end zone. Worth noting, Willie McGinnis just trotted back onto the field. Now, you know, you say, what do the Colts do in a situation like this? Not too, not very seldom do you see them put in an extra runner or have a lead back. If they did something like that, I'd say they're going to fake it and throw the football. They're putting in a bigger wide receiver. Aaron Moorhead comes in. Edron James with 139 total yards on his day. Would love to add one more. Third and goal. Manning throwing for Moorhead. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. That's tough. Tyrone Poole has practiced against Peyton Manning many times. Good technique. As soon as it's Aaron Moorhead takes off, he immediately is thinking fade himself and does a terrific job of stopping the play. This football game comes down to this play. Fourth and goal. Edger and James behind Manning. Patriots come up with the goal line stand 11 seconds to play and the ball goes over on downs Willie McGinnis is on the outside and I think he's unblocked they got more people on the line of scrimmage yes he's unblocked and he is in the stance he is playing run all the way Edron James might score by going over the top he can't even get up McGinnis makes the hit and there's a little celebration afterwards Over the last four minutes of play, the Colts got off nine offensive plays inside the Patriot 20-yard line and couldn't reach the end zone. Oh, boy, and look who 